hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this pretty uh, little mermaid so what you're gonna need is you'll need uh, three kinds of yarn one for the top one for the skin color and one for the bottom part also you need a black hair extension or you can use yarn if you want to and also I used a crochet hook which is 2.75 millimeters as you can see okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the hands and for the hands we're going to start with the skin color so in my case I'm using this brownish color or beige and we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay and then after you're done with that for the next two rows which is row two and row three we're going to do single crochet all the way round in each row Okay, so I'm going to place my marker over here and then I'm going to continue and do single crochet all the way around. So I'll do single crochet. One, two, three, four five and the last one six okay so we have a total of six stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, for the next uh, one row also which is the third row you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of uh, six stitches okay so we're going to continue by doing single crochet in this row also okay and you're going to continue all the way round okay so after you're done with the third row now in the fourth row we are going to start by doing four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay and then after that in the remaining two stitches we are going to decrease okay so we're going to decrease one time so decrease okay so now we have a total of five single crochets okay so after you get here now you're going to change into the top color and my top color I'm going to use white okay so when you change into white it's really easy because you're just going to continue by doing single crochet in each row okay so now from the fourth uh, from the fifth row which is the next row where you join your yarn until the 14th row you're going to do single crochet all the way round okay so you're going to do for a total of 10 rows okay so continue do single crochet all the way for a total of 10 rows until you get here at the end so each row will have a total of five single crochets okay so when you're done you just cut off your yarn and then after that we're going to start with the body okay so now for the body we are going to start from the bottom going up and I'm going to start with this orange color or uh, I mean mustard color so we're going to start with the magic ring and then Six single crochets into the magic ring so two three 
four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to pull to close the gap. Okay, and then I'm going to place my marker over here. So now in the second row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of six stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet one, two, three. four, five, and the last one, six. Okay. Okay, so now in the third row, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to increase in the next stitch okay and then we are going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet one and single crochet two then we're going to increase in the next stitch so increase and then i'm going to do single crochet in the last stitch okay so now from here for the next 10 rows which is uh, row 4 until row 13 we are going to increase only on the side so we're going to do single crochet and increase on both sides Okay, so I'm going to put my marker two times, so one on this side and one here. Okay, so I'm going to put place my mark over here. So in the fourth row, we're going to start by increasing. So this will be our side. And then we're going to continue. One. Two. Three. Okay, and then when we get here to this other side, I'm going to place a marker because I'm going to be increasing on both sides. Okay, so then I'm going to increase on this other side. Then I'm going to continue and do single crochet. One, two, and three okay so remember we'll be increasing on only in the sides until we get to the 13th row okay so over here again in the fifth row i'm going to start by increasing and then i'm going to continue and do my single crochet in the other stitches so single crochet single crochet okay and then when I get uh, to my other marker over here I'm going to increase on this other side also so increase and then continue with my single crochets Okay, so now you get what, uh, how we're doing it. So now from here, from the next row, which is the sixth row, until you get to the 13th row, you're going to continue with the same pattern, just increasing only on the sides, okay? So I'll see you when you're done with the 13th row so that we start the 14th row together. Okay, guys, so after the 13th row, this is how it looks like, the bottom part of... Um, our body 
Okay, so now I'm going to use different color marker so that I don't confuse like on both sides. Okay, so my gray uh, marker will be for the start and here will be for this other side. Okay, so now for the 14th row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of uh, 28 stitches. Okay, so we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and you're going to continue doing your single crochet all the way around until you get here at the end. And also remember here, uh, don't remove your marker yet because we're gonna need it um, on the on some other rows uh, before we finish. Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so now in our fifteenth row. We are going to do like we did in the previous rows. So we are going to increase on both sides, on the sides, and then do single crochet on all the other stitches. Okay, so we're going to start by increasing. Okay, and then we're going to continue doing single crochets. Okay, so when we get to the other marker, we're going to increase on this side too. So increase. And then you're going to continue with the single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so now in our 16th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of uh, 30 stitches. So we're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet okay and you're going to continue doing your single crochet all the way round okay so now in our 17th row we are going to increase on both sides and then do single crochet in all the other stitches okay so we're going to start by increasing and then we're going to continue by doing single crochets Okay, so continue until you get here at this side. Okay, so when you get to the other marker, we are going to increase on this side too. And then we are going to continue doing single crochets. Okay, and you're going to continue with the single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so now in the next two rows, which is row 18 and row 19, we are going to do a single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 32 stitches in each row. Okay, so continue doing single crochet in this row and also the other row. And I'll see when you're done in the 19th row so that we start the 20th row together. Okay, so now in our 20th row, so uh, when you're done with the 19th row, this is how it should look like. And now in our 20th row, we are going to increase on both sides and do single crochet on all the other stitches. So we're going to start by increasing. And then we're going to continue and do single crochets. Okay, 
So continue with single crochets until you get here where the other marker is. Okay, so when you get to the other marker, you're going to increase and then you're going to continue doing single crochets to the end. Okay, so continue the single crochet until you get here at the end. Okay, so after that now, for the next four rows, which is from row 21 until row 24, we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of... Um, 34 stitches in each row okay so do single crochet for the next four rows and i'll see you when you're done with the 24th row so that we start the 25th row together so after the 24th row this is how a little tail looks like okay so now for the next three rows which is from row 25 until row 27 we are going to decrease on the sides instead of increasing okay so in the 25th row, we are going to start by decreasing, okay? So we're going to decrease. And then we are going to continue and do single crochet on the other stitches. Okay, and then when we get to this marker, which is on the other side, we are going to decrease again one time. Okay, and then we're going to continue doing single crochets. Okay, so continue with the single crochets until you get to the end. Okay, so now in the next two rows, which is row 26 and 27, you're going to repeat the same thing as you did in the 25th row. So you're going to decrease on both sides and do single crochets on all the other stitches. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with our 27th row so that we start the 28th row together. Okay, so after the 27th row, this is how it looks like. So now in our 28th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 28 stitches, okay? So do single crochets, okay? So single crochets. So we're going to continue the single crochets all the way to the end okay so now in our 29th row we are going to work in the front loops only because in the next row we'll be changing into the skin color okay so we're going to start uh, by doing a uh, two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around and we're going to do that only in the front loops only Okay, so I'm going to start by doing two single crochet in the front loop. So single crochet one and two and then decrease in the next. Next two stitches and then repeat that again. Two single crochet. And decrease okay and remember we are working only in the front loops and then repeat that to a single crochet and decrease Okay, 
away and then we're going to continue to single crochet and so i'm maintaining uh this marker over here because i'm going to need it again and i need to know the sides of my doll and decrease okay and then you're going to continue all the way to the end okay so now after that in the 30th row you're going to switch to the skin color yarn so i already did that okay so now here we are going to work in the back loop only so remember in the previous row we worked in the front loop so this row we're going to work single crochet all the way around but in the back loops only for a total of 21 stitches okay so we're going to go into the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet and we're going to continue doing single crochet in the back loop Okay, so single crochet. Okay, so continue like that all the way to the end and work only in the back loops only. Okay, so now after that, for the next three rows, which is from row 31 until row 33, we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row. For a total of 21 stitches in each row okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet all the way around okay and continue in this row and the next two rows until row um 33 and i'll see when you're done with the 33 row so that we start the 34th row together okay so now after the 33 row this is how it looks like so stuff the bottom part of the body first before we continue okay so now in our 34th row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 16 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet and decrease in the next stitch and then we are going to keep repeating that two single crochets and decrease okay and you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 35th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 16 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet single crochet okay and continue with single crochet all the way round Okay, so now in the 36th row, we are going to decrease in each side and do single crochet in all the other stitches. So we're going to start by decreasing. And then we're going to continue and do single crochet in the other stitches. Okay, and when we get to this side also we are going to decrease and then we are going to continue to do single crochets Okay. 
Okay, so now in the next four rows, which is from row 37 until row 40, we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of um, 14 stitches in each row. Okay, so I'll see when you're done with the 40th row so that we start the 41 row together. Okay, so now after our 40th row, now we have a total of 14 stitches. Okay, so now in our 41st row, we are going to increase on both sides and do single crochet on all the other stitches. Okay, so we're going to start by increasing. And then we're going to continue and do single crochets. Oh, I forgot to tell you like after that in from here you're going to change into the white yarn which is the top color okay so make sure you change into the top color and then we continue okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet and remember we are stuffing as we go on okay so make sure you uh, continue stuffing your doll okay when you get to this other side of the stitch marker also we are going to increase and then we're going to continue and do single crochets Okay, so now in our 42nd row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. Okay, so you're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and continue with single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so after that now in this row which is our 43rd row we are going to attach our hands okay and then we have to make sure our hands are on the side so they align with this side okay so I'm going to place my marker and I'm going to count one two stitches and then I'm going to take my arm and place it over here Okay, and then on the inside, so I have to go on the inside of the arm. And on the other stitch and do single crochet. And do one more single crochet. So on the inside and here okay and then we're going to continue and do single crochet so one two three four Five. So I'm going to remove this marker. We don't need it anymore. Okay. Six. 
Okay, and then I'm going to place my other arm over here. And same thing, I'm going to go onto the inside of the arm. And do single crochet. And one more here and here and single crochet and continue okay so until there so that's how it's gonna look like Okay, so now after that, um, in the 44th row, we are going to decrease all the way around until the end. Okay, so we are going to decrease. And we are going to continue like that. So decrease. And with this other side of the arm. Remember where we connected the arm. Okay, decrease again. And decrease. Then we're going to continue decreasing. So when we come here again where we connected the arm, we're going to go decreasing around the arm. So decrease again. And one last time, decrease. Okay, so now after that, um, in the next row, which is our 45th row, Okay, so we're going to decrease again all the way around until we have one stitch left at the end. So you're going to decrease. One, two times. So we're decreasing six times. Two. Three, four, So it's a little bit tight. 
for okay and then we have a single crochet here at the end so one stitch left at the end so there we're going to do a single crochet okay so as you can see we have a very small space left over here so I'm going to stuff my doll all the way so that uh, it doesn't become hard when I finish it okay so as you can see I've stuffed it already so now we're just going to finish off okay so I'm just going to cut my yarn and slip stitch okay and I'll leave this yarn long enough for sewing okay so now we're going to start making the head